We are live at Arco Arena in Sacramento, California, as we get set for the Sacramento Kings against the New Jersey Nets. Hi, everybody. Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr. Both teams on the floor, ready to go. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups presented by Team Owner. Kevin Martin, such a difficult guy to defend. Among the league's top scorers, averaging 24 points per game. Marv, anytime you have a player like this who can finish shots so well in the lane, it makes things difficult for the defense. You've got to collapse on him, you've got to help, but then you know he can also pass the ball to the perimeter for open looks. Hawes wants the ball. Nice crossover. Lopez rebound. The Nets crashing the board. But Lopez taking it to the rim. You love the hustle, Marv. The offensive board leads to the putback, and that's pure energy right there. Thompson on the quick release. Oh, the screen is set. Harris with that change of pace dribble goes to the left hand. Great job using that high screen, Marv, freeing himself up for a jump shot. Oh, can't hold on to the ball. Udrick firing. Yes. E looking for position in the paint. was a three-point attempt. Lopez able to hustle it down and they can reset. Puts a little extra on it. Well, those second chance points are killers if you're the defense, Mark. They've got to box out. Lee digging in defensively. Looks like he's trying to set his man up here. Hawes looking to set the screen. Chris Nocioni, not able to hit. E, try to break free. Rebound by Mark. Hawes looking to set up in the paint. Pick is set. Nocioni again and scores. That's great defense, Marv, but that's too good. Nice touch around the hoop. Dooling trying to break free. Here's the screen. Dooling with a crossover. Yes! Well, if you're going to switch the screen and roll, Marv, like they did there, you've got to commit to it and be prepared for that kind of speed and quickness. I didn't think he did a good job at all staying in front of his man. gets it back to him. Here's Martin. Lee on the rebound. Marv, you've got to finish that play. When you get into the paint, you get that kind of penetration, you have to come away with some points. Lee gets it right back. Puts it down through traffic. Marv, when a man penetrates from the perimeter, you've got to come over and help defensively. Martin looking to get open. The layup. Terrific offense, Marv. That's exactly what you want, getting something in the paint close to the basket, but they just didn't convert. Hawes popping out to set the screen. Well, they got exactly what they wanted, Marv. A nice high percentage shot, but they could not convert. Delivery to Harris. E with a quick release. Marv, they did a terrific job getting the ball in the paint. Just didn't make the basket. Lee 
Biting up. Here's Udrick Lopez. They're able to hustle it down. And Courtney Lee draws the foul. Took the hack, and he'll shoot two. May has checked in for the first time. And Courtney Lee at the line. He's an 82% free throw shooter. And he makes them both. Oh. E ends up with it. Well, any time you're trying to come back, Marv, it's important to execute offensively, but got to finish plays. Dooling makes a great pass. And he's rejected. May looking for the ball. Here's Thompson. Very poor offensive execution, Marvin. They end up with a terrible shot. He's sizing up his man. Nice crossover. And Courtney Lee was able to swing his way. That's an 8-0 run for the Nets. Mar, Phil Jackson used to tell us in Chicago, the main thing you've got to do on the road is take the home crowd right out of it as soon as possible. And Dino Udra comes up short. Harris looking to shake free. He fires from downtown. May able to reach for it. And Jason Thompson with the layup. Nice pass to set things up. Harris again. The Nets control. Thompson rebound. Mark, keep an eye on second chance opportunities as the game goes along. Offensive rebounds could be the difference in the game. Good job by Harris. Thompson fires again. Looks inside. Thompson on the rebound. That's good solid defense there, Mark. Very aggressive. He was fouled by Dooling. Well, look at the body control, Marv. The strength, the ability to complete the play even when he's drawing contact. Alston has checked in for the first time. And Kevin Martin to the line. He's an 86% free throw shooter. Steve, in the past you have talked about the unorthodox shooting style of Kevin Martin. Yeah, he sort of pulls the ball out of his right pocket, Marv. It's an interesting uh, technique, but what he is consistent with is his release point. And because of that, he's been able to be very consistent with that shot over the years. Martin looking to get open. Nice crossover. Batiste able to hustle it down. Here's the pick. Garcia trying to stay in front of him. The Nets control. The Kings will get to throw it. Well, basketball is a game of mistakes, Mark. You're going you're gonna to make errors throughout a game. You just have to minimize them as much as you can. For three. And Francisco Garcia off the mark. Harris comes up with the steal. Loses the ball. 
Rodriguez ends up with it. What great defense, Marv, challenging the shot and forcing a very difficult attempt. And Francisco Garcia can't hit from three-point territory. Pass to Alston. And Devin Harris with the bucket, and what a pretty look. That's an 18-9 run for the Nets. This is the last thing this home crowd wanted to see, Marv. They came in here fired up, ready to cheer, and they've got nothing to be excited about. Martin fires one up. It looks like he's just trying to bring his club back all by himself, but this is a situation where you want to move the ball and make the defense work. Harris again. The Nets keep it alive. Hawes able to succeed with that box out. Marv, as the game goes along, if they continue to hit the offensive glass, they'll make some of those second chance opportunities. Alston digging in defensively. And Kevin Martin not able to score. Marv, you wonder about their focus here in the first half. Unable to finish an easy shot there. The pass to Alston. Here comes the screen. Alston with the entry pass. Yes. He fires from downtown. The first quarter comes to an end. The Kings trail by 11. This club has played so well on the road, but I don't think they'd expect what took place here in the first quarter. I think you're right, Marv. This is a, a tired team. They've been on the road for a while, so pretty inspired effort here in the first quarter. They've gotten off to a terrific start. That's four assists for Rafer Alston. Accelerates. Elcioni with the shot, and he converts. Alston tried the fadeaway. Very ill-advised shot, Marv, but really it's a result of a very poor offensive execution on that possession. Udrich, nice move. The Kings keep the possession going. Well, that's unfortunate there, Marv. Trailing, they've got to take advantage of every opportunity they have. Easy shot that's missed, point blank. Lee looking for the ball. All right, here comes the pick. Lee gets space. Oh. Well, you have to love the way he gets out and challenges the shot. When you're trying to come back from a deficit, this is the only way to do it. Play solid defense. Elcioni trying to free himself up. And Jason Thompson can't get it to go down. Delivery to Harris. Williams coming out on the screen. Here's Lee. And finishes with the left hand. Smart play on that screen and roll, Marv. He pulls up for the jumper, recognizing the fact that the lane was clogged. Pass to Martin. And Vino Udrick with an excellent feed. Harris looking to set up on the post. Going off the dribble. And 
Kevin Martin to the left hand. Beautifully done. Smart move there, Marv. When you're down, it's important to really be aggressive. Get something attacking towards the rim in the paint. And that might jumpstart this club. E on a quick release. The Nets on the glass. And E draws the contact, and he is fouled. Marv, absolutely terrific defense, challenging the shot. And this is what you have to do when you've fallen behind and you're trying to get back into a ball game. Misses them both. Udrick on a catch and shoot. And E not able to hit. Wow, what a defensive possession. And Marv, this is how this team's going to get back into the ballgame. May popping out to set the screen. The pass to Martin with the bucket. Harris trying to break free. The Kings crashing the board. And Shaw May with the spectacular move. That's an 8-0 run for the Kings. Marv, you can just feel the momentum shifting here. This home crowd absolutely loves it. Delivery to Harris. Alston with the runner and the bucket. Marv, I think they've let their guard down defensively here. They've got to tighten things up and get back in this game. Garcia on a quick release. Yes! That's an 11-2 run for the Kings. Well, this team has seen their lead vanish, and yet they have not called a timeout. I think it's imperative for them to get their act together right now. Starting to size up his man, Williams comes out to set the pick. And Courtney Lee with a beautiful touch inside. Well, anytime you guard the screen and roll and you switch, you've got to keep the ball handler out of the lane. Udrick able to break it down. What a great possession here defensively, challenging the shot. Pass to Alston. May able to succeed with that box out. Here's Garcia. Williams able to reach for him. Oh, the screen is set. Alston with the runner and scores. Well, I like the idea of switching the pick and roll, but in this case, the ball handler just too quick for the defense. Udrick on a quick release from downtown. The jumper is off the mark. Green giving no room. Pick is set. Penetrated. Alston is turned back. Nice play. Garcia pulls it up and he hits it. Pass to Harris. Williams fires. And that is his first field goal. Great job using that high screen, Marv. Freeing himself up for a jump shot. Garcia wants the ball. 
They've got to find some kind of a rhythm to their offense because that was a terrible shot there. Shoots for three. May be able to succeed with that box out. Well, when fatigue sets in, the first place you notice it is with the jump shot. The legs just aren't there and just can't get the ball to the hoop. Udrich looks like he's injured. Hopefully nothing serious. Two and a half minutes remaining in the second quarter. Sacramento down by six. For three. And Courtney Lee able to knock it down. So that's their first three of the night. Udrich with an excellent look. And rebounded by Austin. They have to get better shots than that. They have no rhythm offensively. E try to break free. Fires for three. And Courtney Lee misfires. Not much energy with that shot there, Marv. Looks like his legs are a little tired. I think he might need to go to the bench to get a blow. And that's a good call, no question about it. Yeah, out of control, and he barrels over the defender. With his club trailing, Marv, I, I think he's getting a little bit too excited trying to do everything on his own. This team has plenty of time to work with. You've got to be very patient offensively. Lopez trying to break free. Here's Williams. Hawes able to succeed with that box out. Offensive foul, so the ball will go back to the Nets. Delivery to Simmons. And Keon Doolin misses. Thompson looking to get open. Yes. Doolin gets it over. Chris Nocioni charged with foul number three. Martin has checked in. And Terrence Williams at the line. And hits both. Down to a half minute remaining in the half. Sacramento down by nine. Martin trying to get free off the pick. Handled by Batie. Lopez facing the double team. Accelerates. Rodriguez rebounds. The quarter winds down and he will heave it. One at the half. The Kings trail by nine. in a struggle in this first half. They've had shooting problems as of late, and it's carried right into tonight's game. Well, I think anytime you're missing perimeter shots, Marv, it's important to get some easy hoops somehow, some way. Maybe get to the offensive glass, get out in transition, 
be aggressive and attack the rim, get to the free throw line. You gotta do something to get yourself going offensively. And Courtney Lee draws the foul. Makes them both. El Cioni with a nice pass. Yes. Good solid pick there. Frees him up for the jump shot. Lopez comes out to set the pick. Here's Harris. And the bucket. Marv, this team has shown really solid execution all night. That's why they have the lead. They're setting good screens, making good sharp cuts to the basket, and they're taking high percentage shots. Martin looking for the ball. Look out. Looks like he's going to try and break his man down. E giving no room. Courtney Lee called for the offensive foul. Martin looking to shake free. Ball's knocked out of his hands. He took it away. E looking to get open, and Courtney Lee with a pretty pass. This has been a clinic offensively, Marv. They're running their sets beautifully, spacing the floor, getting good shots, getting the ball inside. They're showing it all tonight. No Sioni finding the open man. And Kevin Martin misses from long distance. Brooke Lopez driving to the rim. Marv, lackluster defense that possession. They've got to tighten things up here. Hawes looking to post up. Shot clock down to four. Udrick with one second. Unable to hit from downtown. Lee looking for the ball. Shot clock at four. El Cioni on the rebound. Anytime you find yourself behind, it's important to defend every possession. That's how you get back into games. Oh, he loses it. Here's Thompson. Rejected. Lopez trying to free himself up. Clock at seven. No Cioni on the quick release. Well, a quick shot there, Marvin. I'm just not sure they can get back into this game with offensive possessions like that one. Shot clock is down to five. Dooling getting set. And Brooke Lopez with a great move, and he'll head to the line. Marv, great job drawing the contact and still having the strength to finish the play. 
And Brooke Lopez at the line for the first time. So he converts the free throw. Sacramento is looking to draw something up. from deep in the corner, and Spencer Hawes with a nice look. E on the fade. The Nets control. E puts it up again. And the field goal. That's an 11-3 run for the Nets. Well, this is atrocious coaching. You're getting pounded, and you just continue to allow your team to get beaten to a pulp without calling a timeout. Unbelievable. Yes, hits the three. Martin is two for three from three-point territory. He's been very successful, but how does Kevin Martin develop a shot like that? Yeah, it's interesting. He kind of leans to the left, and he pulls the ball across his body from the right-hand side. But, hey, he's been very effective with it. Udrick trying to break free. And E called for the foul. Thompson at the line, first time tonight. He comes back to hit the second after missing that first free throw. Lee wants the ball. Here's the screen. Box out by Mark. Well, you have to love the way he gets out and challenges the shot. When you're trying to come back from a deficit, this is the only way to do it. Play solid defense. El Cioni absorbed a lot of contact on that play and looks to be shaken up. And Courtney Lee off the mark. El Cioni again, and that is not the shot that they had in mind. What an atrocious attempt. That's how they dug this hole for themselves in the first place. to Harris that's a two he had a foot on the line that's a 15 to 7 run for the Nets this is really where you find out about your team Mark you're getting pounded what are you gonna do quit or keep playing the pass to Martin and Beno Udrick with the assist nice catch and shoot there Mark beautiful quick release and the defense was really off balance Takes to the rim, swatted away. Udrick with a blocked shot and batted away and knocked out of bounds. As we take a look back, Steve, getting to the rim has not been a problem tonight for the Nets. Well, the key to basketball, I think, is penetration, whether it's off the dribble, off the pass. If you can get the ball close to the hoop, as you're seeing on some of these replays, it makes the game so much easier. Now you're getting dunks, you're getting layups, you're putting a lot of pressure on the defense and not simply relying on long-range shots. That's a 17 to 9 run for the Nets. Well, this is ridiculous, Marv. This game is spiraling out of control, and at some point, you got to get a timeout. I would have called one six, eight minutes ago, and yet the coach continues to just sit there and stare in disbelief. All 
Houston with the runner and scores. Barb, I think they've done a nice job tonight offensively running their sets. They look very effective. They're finding the open shooter. They've developed a good groove here tonight. And it's a loose ball. Thompson trying to break free and rejected. Alston looking for the open man. Oh, nice spin. And Ray for Alston able to hit. Oh, they've been really effective offensively tonight, Marv. That's one of the reasons they're winning this game. They've found a nice rhythm. They're getting open looks, and they're really sharing the ball. Martin looking for the open man. The Kings control. Pause again. Yes. This guy's a terrific back-to-the-basket player, Marv, because he can make his move, and then he's got that feathery touch around the basket. A minute and a half remaining in the third. Sacramento down by 19. And Devin Harris misfires. Hawes trying to break free. And Jason Thompson able to knock it down. Lopez looking to get open. Delivery to Harris. And Ray for Alston to the left hand. Beautifully done. Boy, that was great execution on that set right there, Marvin. They've been doing it all night. That's how they've built this lead. Really, really sound offense. Thompson with an excellent look and score. Martin is 9 for 16 from the field. to Simmons five second differential between the game clock and the shot clock Garcia with a quick release here's the pick Harris off balance. Three quarters through this game. The Kings trail by 19. This fourth quarter gets underway. It has been a disastrous performance, and I can see uh, upstairs, upper level, fans beginning to file out. Well, I don't blame them, Marv, because their team has not played well at all here tonight, and I think the most disappointing thing is it's been a lack of effort. They're not getting on the floor for loose balls. They're not taking charges. They're not making the extra pass. It's been an atrocious effort here. Lopez looking for the ball. was a three-point attempt. The Nets keep it alive. Lopez looking to shake free. Marv, the effort has not been there tonight. That's why this team is trailing, and there's just another indication of that, giving up the easy second-chance opportunity. Udrich looking for the pick. The ball is loose. Look out. Good play. Lee looking to get open. Shot blocked. Elcioni on a quick release. The pass to Harris. E on a quick release. And there's another. Shot clock down to seven. 
Udrich using the screen. Down to three. Here's the log. And a 24-second shot clock violation is called. Well, it's turnovers like that one that has put this team in the position it's in now, trailing and really not able to get anything going offensively. New Jersey's bench has really been strong tonight. Oh, that's right, Marv. This reserve unit has really stepped up and played well tonight. You see from some of these replays, the moves they've been able to make going to the basket, scoring, knocking down shots, really giving their team a boost tonight. Alston with the runner. Well, finally, Marv, somebody contests a shot. That's the first time I've seen that all night. Maybe that's why he actually missed. Delivery to Martin. Oh, that'll be a foul. He was just too aggressive in closing out on the perimeter shot. Boy, not a smart foul there, Marv. You, you foul a three-point shooter. You send him to the line for three free throws. And, you know, you got to be really careful when you get out and challenge that jump shot. And look at the expression on uh, the head coach's face. Uh, he is not happy. No, he, that guy may be coming out right now. And he makes good on the foul shot. Lopez looking to set the screen. And Sean May called for the foul. That's his first. Lopez to the line. is both shots. Udrich finds the opening. The ball comes loose. Alston looking for the ball. Very lucky there, Mar. This team has been terrible defensively all night. Same case there. The offense just misses the shot. El Cioni using the screen. Does this team even care about winning, Marv? It's just shot after shot. These guys are playing for stats. Is it a contract here for all of them? And Ray for Alston with 12 points. Marv, this team has shown really solid execution all night. That's why they have the lead. They're setting good screens, making good sharp cuts to the basket, and they're taking high percentage shots. Pause with a nice pass. Beto Udrin is able to score. Pass to Simmons. That's assist number five for Rafer Alston. This has been a clinic offensively, Marv. They're running their sets beautifully, spacing the floor, getting good shots, getting the ball inside. They're showing it all tonight. Udrich got it down low. Yes! Alston with the off-balance shot. Here comes the screen. Udrich accelerating and is rejected. Udrich out of catch and shoot. The pass to Simmons. Going for three. And E with 14 points. Hawes trying to free himself up. Rejected. Simmons gets inside. Not in the act. They will hit down. Well, I'm not sure about the call, Marv. I thought that could have been a charge, but that's kind of been the story of the night for this club. Nothing seems to be going their way. And here we have a look at tonight's performer of the game brought to you by Sprite. Harris returning here.
straight for Alston with 14 points. Garcia on the quick release. Here's Martin and the bucket. Marv, I think he's trying to help our telecast. He knows everybody's turning the game off right now, but who knows if they whittle down this lead a little bit, maybe people will keep their TVs on. Lee trying to break free. Jason Thompson unable to knock it down. Delivery to Harris. Williams popping out to set the screen. And Devin Harris heads to the line. The team checking back into the game. And Devin Harris at the line for the first time. And hits both. Martin wants the ball. And the pass intercepted. Harris again. And he's rejected. Rodriguez looking for the opening off the screen and rebounded by Harris. Well, you have to be impressed with this club's defense, Mark, forcing very difficult shot attempts. Harris puts the speed on. That's an easy one there, Mark. Point blank, and they miss it, and the defense very fortunate. They have not shown up to play here tonight. Pass to Martin, and it's good. This is how you want to attack an aggressive defense. Set good screens, free yourself up for a jump shot. The pass to Harris. Thompson able to hustle it down. That's rebound number 10. Delivery to Martin. Yes. Harris so effective freeing himself up off the screen. And scores. Garcia trying to break free. They double up. The Kings will throw in. Well, for the most part, this club has been very sharp here tonight, Marv, with their offensive execution. Uh, there's a turnover there, but not something we've seen most of the game. Rodriguez trying to break free. Shot clock with six seconds remaining. It's the screen. Down to two. Garcia came down looking like he's in some pain there. Well, they look like they're mailing it in, Marv. I mean, they're just firing away without any regard to the score of the game. Alston looking to get open. Fires. Oh, a huge basket there. A minute and a half remaining in the fourth. Sacramento down by 23. Lopez with the block. Shot clock down to six. And Dante Green made a sensational pass. Harris dumps it off. He shoots from three-point territory. Green hustling for the rebound. Is it possible to have too much room? 
Well, it's just not his night, Marv. Sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. What? <laughs> Harris coming off the screen. Here's Lopez. Williams, able to rescue, able to take it hard to the rim. Marv, I think they've done a nice job tonight offensively running their sets. They look very effective. They're finding the open shooter. They've developed a good groove here tonight. Garcia trying the fadeaway. Pass to Harris. Williams again. That's assist number five for Devin Harris. Garcia again from downtown. What a poor shooting performance tonight. I would think they would like to file this game somewhere and forget about it. The Kings could not come away with it. Final score is 88 to 65. Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr saying so long from Arco Arena.